Hey everyone, welcome to LearnGrid. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Metasploit on Kali Linux step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have Metasploit fully configured and ready to use. Let's get started. First, let's ensure our system is up to date. Open your terminal and run the following command sudo apt update. This updates the list of available packages. It's always a good practice to update before installing anything new. Next, we'll install the Metasploit framework. Run this command sudo apt install Metasploit framework. This will install Metasploit along with its dependencies. The process might take a few minutes, so let's wait for it to finish. Metasploit uses PostgreSQL as its database. Let's install it by running sudo apt install PostgreSQL. Once installed, we need to enable and start the PostgreSQL service. Use this command sudo system ctl enable a dash dash now postgresql this ensures the service starts automatically on boot to check if it's running use sudo system ctl status postgresql if the status shows active running you're good to go now let's initialize the metasploit database run the following command sudo m s f d b init this sets up the database required for Metasploit to store information during scans and exploitation. To start Metasploit, type MSF console. This will open the Metasploit console. You'll see the Metasploit banner and the console prompt. To ensure the database is connected, type db underscore status. You should see a message like connected to the database. If it's connected, everything is set up correctly. And that's it. You've successfully installed and configured Metasploit on Kali Linux. From here, you can explore its powerful features for penetration testing and ethical hacking. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.